Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anindita and my channel is about beauty and lifestyle. My channel talks about things which will definitely add something positive to your life. After you finish watching my video, you will feel like doing something. That's my motto. And if you're new to my channel, without wasting any further time, just like, share and subscribe. And always hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all my upcoming videos. Now today I'll talk about, you know, how what is like more important uh, when you are talking in English. Is it your grammar? Is it your pronunciation? Or is it your fluency? What is more important? So I'll actually give you 10 points or 10 tips about how you can improve your overall talking how you can sound presentable totally you know so eventually i'll also discuss which is more important for us is it a grammar or um, pronunciation or fluency so please stay tuned and watch my video till the end you will get a very good idea about how you can be a good english speaker within 30 days so let's get started guys i always feel your fluency and pronunciation is more important than grammar you may be a person who is grammatically perfect but your pronunciation is something you know like uh, you do not make sense and you do not have fluency at all then how can you be a very good speaker you cannot make sense people will not understand things you say so grammar is definitely important but in order to be understandable in order to be a good speaker your pronunciation and your fluency is more important so the first thing is you have to increase your vocabulary you have to add new words so trying to find out new words as soon as you find as soon as you find new words just note them down you may not remember them you know later so just find out some kind of way to to make a note you can always keep a very small uh, writing pad or you have your mobile phone you can just make a note on that as well whatever new word you get to hear just note it down come home find out the meaning try to find out similar words i mean words which have same kind of meaning that way you have your own lists list of words which contain same meaning and that's gonna increase your vocabulary next time when you talk you will use these words that will make you stylish speaker and will never ever run out of words guys find out something which you would love to read okay it could be a newspaper a newspaper is the best choice i would say because it will give you different kind of articles it will it will give you different kind of incidents so if you read and you read loudly so at the same time you are reading and you're listening to yourself so that way your um, you know mumbling tendency will actually go be very loud when you're reading and if reading loudly is a problem like you're staying in a family or your neighbors or whatever it is just close the windows close the doors be loud enough to be understood to be heard by yourself okay shout read and shout open up completely a very loud reading will help you clear your voice okay clear your pronunciation and it will also kind of take away your hesitation okay so the more you practice hearing yourself the more your fear goes and guys actually i did a lots and lots and lots and lots of homework to figure out why we cannot speak when we are a very good writer we can write kind of you know big essays on a topic however when it comes to talking we can't we just go blank so i kind of did a very uh, long time homework and i figured out few things and i just thought i'll share each and every point with you through my channel so just um, focus on loud reading and at the same time you listen to yourself this way you will have kind of fluency okay the more you read the more fluent you become and when you are listening you have a habit of you know listening to yourself talking in english that will take away your fear and it will definitely add up to the confidence part number three when you read make sure you are reading in speed 
do not read very slowly okay uh, if you want you can um, put an alarm or a stopwatch and try to break your record like today for an example if you uh, read a hundred word paragraph uh, in like five minutes tomorrow it should be four minutes the next day it should be just three minutes that way you beat yourself practice fast reading the faster you are the fluent you become the faster you are the mumbling tendency will glow will go away sorry glow go away the faster you are the more you kind of pick up you save on your time when you are reading okay so always read fast real fast okay initially you will make mistakes initially it will be funny okay because you are not used to read that way you kind of uh, used to take your time and sit and read very slowly but no this time since you have to improve your spoken english just read very fast loud and clear guys people often say that if you want to have that kind of fluency you have to think in english you have to dream in english and um, for us it's like a joke i mean really we have to think in english you have to dream in english how can i decide on how i'm going to think which language i'm going to think in definitely it's going to be my mother tongue yes that's correct but if you really want to improve you really have to think in english you really have to dream in english how well talk to yourself in english chat with yourself how okay like if you are hungry like in the morning okay you tell yourself i'm hungry instead of saying the same thing in your mother tongue say i'm hungry if you are happy you don't really have to say that i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy to myself but say that to yourself that i'm happy if um, you're feeling cold just tell this much i'm feeling cold before you take a shawl or take a sweater just tell yourself i'm feeling cold what should i do i think i have i have a sweater i better take it yes now i'm feeling better it's warm okay i'm looking nice the sweater suits me wow this kind of chats you know little chit chats with yourself this is funny but trust me this will add to your fluency okay number 5 i always believe good pronunciation and fluency is more important than grammar like guys a person like i just said a person who is excellent in grammar and pronunciation is like horrible while speaking that person will never make sense and the person you know like mumbles and stumbles and thinks a lot before talking or kind of translates from mother tongue to english then that person can never ever be a good speaker so just take 10 minutes a day and it's a 30 day task guys remember just take 10 minutes a day whatever you have to say to yourself record you know guys there are many people who maintain a diary they write everything in a diary right that way you maintain a recording okay a series of recording so for 30 days i just want you to record what you think about yourself what you whatever you're thinking about maybe that sweater your hairstyle whatever you have around a dish that you love to eat something you want to cook something you have uh, seen in a news channel and that really bothered you whatever it is just 10 minutes guys before you go to bed say record the next morning you sit you listen to yourself see how you are and i guarantee you day 1 and day day 30 will be a huge difference just do that okay number 6 guys find out like minded people find out people who think like you and i'm sure you will find out many because most of us actually struggle in our society while it comes in talking right many people i have seen you know they hold a big position in some office but when they talk their pronunciation is horrible some mistake we all do i do i'm not flawless i never say that i'm flawless or i speak like marvelously but you know i still have that ability to sit and tell you that these these things can be done to improve because i have worked really really hard to improve myself really i have worked a lot and i see many people you know they are kind of in a very good position and when they talk they don't sound good they kind of do not make sense so always find like minded people if there is two fine make it a group later on people will join 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स टेन इज इनफ ट्रस्ट मी टेन इज इनफ मोर देन टेन विल नॉट मेक इट टेन इज इनफ सो इफ देर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ लाइक माइंडेड पीपल शेयर योर थॉट्स यू कैन मीट वंस अ मंथ और मेक अ जूम कॉल वंस अ मंथ टॉक टू योर सेल्फ टॉक ओनली इन इंग्लिश इफ नॉट मच टेक टेन मिनट्स from each other so like two members 10 minutes each three members 10 minutes each like that you talk only and only in english if you want you can prepare a topic and you can talk on that if you do this you kind of get into a habit of talking in english with people that will make a hell lot of difference in uh, communication that will give you confidence that will take away your um kind of shyness this will make you you know kind of used to uh, to to this thing i mean talking in english so this way you are getting more into english you are kind of exposing yourself more into talking so find out like minded people and talk to each other only and only in english instead of focusing on one accent guys try to focus on uh, different accents okay like see how an american speaks english see how a britisher speaks english an australian speaks english an indian speak english okay a spanish person speaks english this way if you concentrate or if you focus you will kind of uh, get to know the differences between um, you know each speaker each english speaker you will understand the different the difference of accents and that way your uh, ability to figure out what is been i mean what people are talking about uh, like you will have a clear idea so sometimes when you have to answer back it's just the accent that you don't understand because same word is being pronounced in different ways okay so if you focus on different accents you kind of um, understand the difference and this will make your answering ability a little stronger okay now guys there is something very important okay this is my tip number 8 always practice few sentences or like few funny things a funny story few jokes that you will repeat don't mind to do that you just you just have to do this because you are not a native speaker english is not our mother tongue so we have to repeat we have to prepare ourselves okay so few sentences keep them ready for special occasions like you go for a dinner party here is a funny story that you're going to say okay you go for an interview these are the sentences that you have to say You are in office meeting. These are the set of words that you'll use for sure. Now these words should be pronounced correctly. That funny story should be told in a funny way. In an interview, if you are, if you have thought that you will talk about these these things, talk confidently. So, practice confidence with few words or sentences. practice your pronunciation with few chosen words practice your um, sense of humor with a set of funny stories people will never come to know about this only you will know about this but when you perform you will be kind of next to flawless you know all of us are not in kind of a profession or in a position that we get to talk any other language rather than our mother tongue now in this kind of situation if you have to master in a foreign language you will definitely have to do some kind of homework you will definitely ha- definitely have to prepare few things which you are going to repeat don't feel bad about it be happy about it this is your practice this is your homework prepare a chart that way and always repeat that when you are presenting yourself okay if you want to learn a language especially english now this is very important and this is my point number 9 you have to look at at the persons i mean at a native speaker's lip movement lip movement see how they pronounce okay and a native a native speaker of english will not pronounce the way we pronounce words their lip movement is different their 
the 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 sounds are definitely not like ours. They're s and sh. Okay, these sounds are something you have got to you know mm, notice very carefully and for that you have to have to monitor or rather notice their lip movement that's a very important because guys um like t-h-a-t it's not that it's that 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 okay follow pronunciation of a native english speaker that will help you a lot to improve your pronunciation and the more nicely you pronounce the more nicer you become as a speaker and that adds to your fluency now guys number 10 what you have to do is like i'm sure you have someone in your life some special person yeah who cares for you and who will perhaps spend some time for you okay record your videos videos okay not just a voice clip a video show it to him or show it to her and ask for a true feedback not um you know something which he or she will say just to keep you happy no an honest review an honest feedback okay ask for it share your video okay if you share if you if you give your video to somebody else that person can actually understand your uh, mistakes more than you and you can get good feedback okay if you have a good teacher your school teacher or like anybody else who can spend some time for you share your recorded video whatsapp or uh, you can put it in messenger also like whichever way is comfortable with you share your recorded videos video clips okay because when you talk your body language is also very important but like when you're talking to a person you should not look anxious no it should not be so funny like all the time <laughs> yeah 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 no you can't okay so we talk to people in english when only when it's needed so to practice a good body language is also very important and that comes only when you see you and sometimes um you know, if somebody else give us a feedback that actually works in a better way and things that I cannot see, maybe somebody else can see. So share your video with a person who can judge you and who can share a good, proper feedback with you. That will help you correct your body language. Okay. Uh, a good body language will make you a good speaker. So with that, I'll end today's video. So today I spoke about 10 different things that will make you a good speaker. I also shared how you can improve your pronunciation. So please work on that. Work on your grammar as well. However, pronunciation and fluency is more important compared to grammar when it comes to spoken English. Okay. And again, if you're new to my channel, like, share and subscribe and always hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all my upcoming videos. And with that, I'll end. I love my subscribers. I love my viewers. I do my videos just and just because of you. So take care. Be always confident. Give a smile to yourself every day, every morning. You deserve that. Have a wonderful day and have a wonderful life ahead. Take care. Bye.